I'm Tracy Sinclair and this is your Fast Cast for August 7th, 2023. Our top story for today, a former elementary teacher and self-proclaimed preacher has been convicted of 14 sexual felonies. 49-year-old John Hammonds taught in Akiachak in 2021. He's been convicted of two counts of first-degree sexual abuse of a minor, one count of first-degree sexual assault, eight counts of second-degree sexual abuse of a minor, two counts of second-degree sexual assault, and one count of enticement of a minor. The charges stem from two victims. That's according to a release from the Department of Law. That includes 12 counts related to crimes while Hammonds was teaching at the Akiachak School in 2021. Two of those crimes in Wasilla when he was in November of 2019. He could face between 40 years and 595 years in prison. Sentencing will happen in January of next year. Anchorage police have identified the man accused of shooting a stranger and his own child last week in South Anchorage. 32-year-old Dale, Dare Dilworth is being charged with assault for the August 3rd shooting. He was with his children and their mother in an Abbott loop in, at the Abbott Fred Meyer parking lot when the adults got into a fight with a stranger. That's according to police. They say Dilworth shot the man and one of his children he then drove off, taking the injured child to the hospital. Both shooting victims are expected to live. A 21-year-old stationed at Eielson Air Force Base died Friday night. Multiple agencies responded to a motorcycle crash at mile 316 of the Parks Highway, just north of Nanana, and tried unsuccessfully to save Jadakis Perry. Perry lost control while speeding. Two other motorcycle riders tried to avoid a collision, but both crashed after losing control. The injured motorcyclists were sent to Fairbanks for treatment. And today, the river that took at least two buildings in southeast Alaska over the weekend is receding. The buildings in Juneau were washed into the river after a glacial dam outburst on the Mendenhall Glacier. Officials say the Mendenhall River banks are still unstable and would encourage people to stay away from the area. Water levels crested on Saturday night, taking out trees and at least two structures. You can find all the day's news, sports, and weather on alaskasnewsource.com or by going to our streaming platforms on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV.